Lana and welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a brand new episode of the Legacy Challenge. I am absolutely buzzing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell but I am buzzing for this challenge. I love the Legacy Challenge with my whole entire heart and I'm really excited. So we're gonna get straight into it. Straight away, no hesitation here. Um, it's actually really late at night so I'm pretty much gonna get everyone to go to sleep. Who's at the door? Alex Havens, I have never seen you in my life so why are you at the door? It's literally almost 10 p.m. and there is a child outside of our house. Anyways, pretty much gonna get everyone go to go to sleep straight away because it is kind of late. Um, we have little baby down here, little baby Luca. He's so cute. I don't know why he's showing up with a different skin tone down here. That seems to be a bug I'm having at the moment. I don't know if anyone else is having that. Um, I don't know what it's from, but yeah, he's a different skin tone down here, but it doesn't really matter. Also, can we just talk about the fact that Lilith and Max are a thing now? That's exciting. I wasn't really sure how I felt about it at first because I always envisioned him with Briley, but the more I think about it, the more cute it sounds because they're literally gonna like live together forever, or not together, but they're gonna live forever together. And then like gonna be an old couple, but never get old. So they're probably gonna have those like cute old couple vibes, but without being old physically, which is kind of cute. Or at least I think that's cute, so there. <laughs> All right, so I think the best thing to do right now, oh, the baby is crying. Let's just get Max to go come and fly her as a bat since he's super speedy. We will change the diaper, bottle feed and cuddle. Oh, and make a silly face because I feel like that's something Max would do. Then we're gonna go ahead and check the calendar. So it's nothing today. Um, and then tomorrow is the baby's birthday. So that's pretty fun. Then we have the talent showcase. I did add some extra, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, I probably have, but I added extra holidays and I also downloaded the, um, let's see, I downloaded the extra, no, that's what I'm not, not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Here we are, yeah, I downloaded the extra icons, like extra holiday icons mod. Um, if any of you guys are interested, just, just Google it. It's really good. I can't remember who it's by. Um, but as you can see, it's very much worth it. So yeah, I did download that. So I will be adding even more holidays, um, off camera, but for now we have quite a few to go with. So yeah, it's his little, it's his birthday tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. Cause I downloaded a little bit of extra toddler CC. I still don't have much, but I have a little bit more than I did before. So I think we can make him super cute. But yes, anyways, we're gonna get straight into it. I think we're gonna focus on everybody's skills today, as well as um, Max and Lilith, because I feel like that would be a fun way to spend this episode. I also want to give um, Luca's room a bit of a makeover when he turns into a toddler because obviously at the moment it's looking very plain and boring. Oh my goodness, I need to I need to get a screenshot of this. Oh, Look how top. cute they are. Oh, I didn't mean to do it like that, but I mean, sure. But look, they're, they're so cute together. He looks like he low-key hates him, but also loves him. Like he hates the fact that he's a baby and he cries all the time, but loves the fact that he's his nephew. Right, is he his nephew? I have lost track. Yeah, he is his nephew. <laughs> Why did my brain go blank then? That's the most obvious relation ever. Okay, anyways, let's get him to go ahead and hibernate so then everyone is in bed or, oh, I'm on the wrong person, that's why. Yeah, hibernate. Um, and then everyone can go to bed. I think we actually have some power points. We do, we have three, so we can move up. Oh, well we need four to get any of these. So we might as well get one of these. So Vampiric Charm, um, Vampiric Brawn, hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking about getting a uh, vampire creation just because like it's, I suppose it could be fun. Like it has a potential for some fun gameplay. So I think we're gonna go with that. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so his vampiric, <sighs> his vampiric energy is going up. Honestly, I, my brain is just mushy at the moment. Oh my God, guys, I have a story to tell you. This is going off topic, but I have a story to tell you. Basically, um, yesterday my media teacher didn't come into college um, and so today we were all a bit confused whether he was gonna come in or not because he said he would email us if he was gonna come in but we didn't get any emails. So I went anyway because I didn't wanna not go if he was gonna be there. And then literally I got on the bus and went all the way there which is, my college is like a good long bus 
journey from my house and I have like severe travel sickness so it's literally the worst nightmare ever I don't know why I decided to go to college that was a bus journey away when there's one closer to me but I did and um I ended up getting a message right as I turned up at the destination uh, that he wasn't there. So I had to get the bus all the way back again and it was just a total waste. And it was quite early in the morning too. So yeah, today didn't start off so good, but I mean, I guess I get the rest of the day off, so it's fine. Um, even though it kind of, it kind of, it kind of was a bit of a, a bit of a hassle. Anyways, we need to get into this. Literally, why they're so, oh my goodness, Sophia, do you actually mind? Can you, should we go and cheer up our parent? I feel like we probably should. Um, then we can, I guess, get one of the girls to, oh, they're both kind of hungry. I think we'll just replace this since we do have the money to. You're gonna be cooking breakfast, but I bet you're just doing it for yourself. Um, so we'll go ahead and get, oh, uh, we'll get Asp, is this Aspen? <laughs> yes, Aspen, um, to eat something out of the fridge. Okay, we'll have some fruit and yogurt parfait, and we will get we'll get um, Mo to wake up and come and sort the baby out. So breastfeed, find out what's wrong, even though we probably would have fixed it by then, and cuddle. Oh, we also really need to make Mo like do some more videos and things because she hasn't in ages. I don't know if there's any left in here. No, yeah, she hasn't really filmed videos in a while, so we definitely need to get her doing that. Oh my goodness, I just, I just, oh, <laughs> I just can't, um, like, get over how much I love this family, like, I'm so attached to them, and you know what makes me really sad is that Isaac is gonna die soon, which I know that was really blunt, but he's got three days until he's an elder, and that just, that just makes me so sad, like, he's not allowed to die, he's not allowed, he has to have a child get married before he dies, like, he, we have to do that for him. I don't know how far we are into this aspiration. We have one more after this, which is, oh, have four grandchildren. Okay, that is fine because she does want to have 10 kids, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that in time. Hmm, let's see, surely we are. I really want to do that for him. Let's see, when do you age up into a, okay, nine days until you're a, oh, this is going to be rough. We should probably find her like a love interest um, before, she ages up so we can like literally get to grandchildren straight away. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know what you guys think about this, do you let me know, but I'm thinking maybe it could be fun to have her adopt a load of kids because Claire was adopted up on this wall, if you guys didn't see um, the last generation, Claire was adopted and maybe she like looks up to her auntie as like a really cool person because I feel like Claire is quite like a, I feel like maybe she'd be like an a fashion designer I mean she is in the fashion design career I'm pretty sure um so maybe maybe Aspen looks up to her and thinks she's really cool and like really wants to adopt children of her own and so she's gonna have 10 kids um I feel like that would be a good option so that could be a way that we can get Isaac to have uh, four grandchildren before he dies because that's kind of a lot <laughs> but if we adopt them then it's a lot more easier let me know what you guys think we're definitely gonna have to get the online line trait back on this lot because they are gonna need all the help they can get, honestly. We probably should have even done um, the 10, genera 10 children in one generation in this generation, but we do not have time now, so we're gonna have to go with how it is. Honestly, I'm happy for Isaac though. I, we're so close to um, finishing his aspiration that I would just feel, I just feel like it wouldn't be fair if we didn't if we didn't complete it, you know what I mean? But anyways, well, we'll think about that. Let me know what you guys think about her adopting a load of kids. I think it could be fun. And that way we also get some kind of um, different looking sims, like unique sims into the, the challenge because I feel like sometimes, um, especially with like pre-made sims that I'm giving makeovers, they all look pretty similar, which, is, which isn't as fun. I like it when there's some unique sims in the challenge. I'm, I'll have to double check the rules though, but I'm pretty sure um, the the way that the challenge goes is that their first um, opposite gender or opposite sex, I should say, um, child, that is, how am I wording this? Their first biological, biological child of the opposite gender has to be the next heir, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So even if she does adopt children, it, the biological child will have to be the next heir, but I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I will have to double check that one. But yeah, I think that could be fun. And especially with a house this big, like we could, we can rearrange it a little bit. Obviously I like to rearrange the house for each generation. So yeah, we could definitely make it like some massive mad house for loads of different kids and they could all have different rooms. I think that could be a lot of fun for the next generation. So I'm super excited about that. Anyways, we also need to get any child, to have a child max any skill from Mo. So we can definitely work on that. And Max wants to write four songs, so I guess we could get started on that today. How are you all? Everything is going good for you. We should probably actually order some more plasma packs, so I think we're going to quickly do that um, so that we don't run out. Let's see, Vampire Secrets, order plasma packs, and we have a lot of money now, so we can literally go ham. I think we'll buy like 15. Should we just get 20? Okay, that will last us a while, so I think that's probably worth, worth it. Um, so start off the day sorry guys i just got interrupted um start the day with a plasma pack that's what i was trying to say why is he feeling so tense festering who do you have a grudge against excuse me festering grudge against who somebody nearby is it mo why do i feel like it's mo yeah why does he hate mo so much maybe it's because she's materialistic a slob on self-absorbed she doesn't have the best traits does she bless her I'm actually really worried about Aspen's last trait because, again, she didn't really get the best trait off of her mum. She got slob. But she did get perfectionist and she's also a quick learner. So, I mean, those two are good, right? I think so, anyways. Um, I'm excited to see what traits Luca gets. Oh my goodness, Ella's going through a phase. She's having a mood swing, sorry. Also, look at her socks. Why are they doing that? That's weird. Something is broken as well, of course, the zinc. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, I hate it when that happens, right? Let's just replace this. And can we get, I don't know, what are you doing? Why are you sad? More like, cause it's cooler? But we can afford to have it, uh, let's set it warmer then. And then can you come in here and mop up, please? I would very much appreciate that. Oh my goodness, Ella. Are you good? Clearly not. Honestly, we need to get them to do their homework. I forgot yesterday. Anyways, I was talking about Max. Max, you drank a plasma pack, didn't you? So can we go in here? Something else is broken. Honestly, um, let's just mop. I, we should probably just get a maid. We can afford it now, right? Um, and then I want to write a song. I think we will actually get a maid because I feel like that would be fun. Anyways, um, let's do a relaxed rhythm. Bjorn, what's the good timers? Isn't that that party, that party like club where they go out night to nightclubs and things? Should we do it? Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. I feel like he'd be into that. Welcome to the good timers. I'm happy that you've decided to join our club. We have a club gathering and we'd love for you to introduce yourself to the group. Okay. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel like this is fun. This will be fun, right? Maybe I should give the, the Sims in the club makeovers. We'll see who's there, we'll see who there, who's there. We'll see who we should give a makeover to. Can we invite Lilith to the club? Or do we have to ask someone to invite Lilith to the club? We'll find out. I'm feeling so good today. Like, I feel like it's because I've made an effort. I don't know if you guys can tell. I curled my hair or waved my hair, I should say, and um, put on like an outfit that I like. And I feel, feel a lot better when I make an effort. Also, how cute is this? Damn, EA. I mean, some people are probably gonna say they still hate it, but this is giving me real like old English pub vibes. It's almost giving me vibes of the pub in Frozen. I know that's not old English, but do you get what I'm saying? Like that mix of an old English pub. Wait, there's a basement too? Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can invite anyone. We can, I think. Oh, let's do it then. Let's have Lilith. Oh, no, not you, Cameron. Lilith, come. Maybe Claire and Dylan? I feel like that could be fun if we're allowed. Oh, can we only invite... Okay, we can only invite two, but that's fine. So Lilith and Claire. Um, and then we have to order drinks at the bar and play pub games. I mean, that's fine by me. Okay, I feel like that's, that's cute. Some of these Sims definitely do need makeovers for sure. But anyways, should we just come over here and uh, play with... Hmm. Is Lilith gonna come or not? I wanna play with Lilith. Where is this club? Down here? No? 
Where is it? Here. Um, let's see. Can she come? Invite to hang out. Let's see if she does. It's really early to be drinking at a pub, isn't it? But you know what? It's absolutely fine. Let's see. Um, order. Order drink for group. That will add to our fame as well. So sh oh my goodness, we should get pla- Oh no, there are 120, that's a bit much. Okay, what's a cheap one? We have money, but we can't go overboard. Why are they all so expensive? Uh, I guess minty fresh pet confections. I don't really know what they're all about, but I guess we have those. No, they're the sleeping, of course she is, because she's a vampire, I keep forgetting. We're just, we're just a really early bird vampire. Oh, another thing I saw, um, another Simadu, Simsav, she, somebody in her comments told her to make a club of everybody in the household, um, for doing, like, normal, normal things, like, eating, drinking, things like that, um, and then you gain club points really, really quickly so that you can, so that you can have, like, perks, like, extra quick skill building and things like that, so I think we're gonna do that when we get back. In fact, I think I might just leave Max to this since Lilith can't come. There's not much point in being here. I'll definitely work on giving some of these townies makeovers before next episode. Um, I, I literally end up saying that every episode, don't I? Because there's so many townies and they all are tragic for the most part. But I have been working my way slowly through them all. Um, a lot of them aren't even in the world currently. Um, but oh my goodness, her hair. Are you good? Yeah, a lot of them aren't even in the world at the moment, but it'll, it'll be... It'll, I'll get there eventually. Anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna go um, and switch control to the others because Max can do his own thing at the club. I'm sure he'll have fun as, on his own. Okay, so we're back again. A little bit of time has passed, um, but Max is back as well. Um, and I just got a notification saying that it is Luca's birthday today, so... I know not everybody is home, but we're just gonna go ahead and age him up because I really don't like having babies in the house. They're objects and they're boring, and I really, really, really hope there's an update, but I'm, at this point, I've lost hope. I doubt there's gonna be. Um, oh, did you see that? <laughs> that was strange. Oh, Claire sent Lucro a gift as well, so that's nice. Anyways, I'm really excited to see what he looks like. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and randomize his uh, trait. So. He has got silly. Okay, that's that's cute. I like that. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wait. Yeah, you can invite over Nani. Oh my god. His hair. He is so cute. Of course, he's ginger again. <laughs> Am I surprised? No. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put on full edit mode and give him a little makeover. Oh my goodness. His little walk. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, right, let's give him a quick little makeover, shall we? All right, so here we are. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I'm not sure why he has that skin tone, though. Um, I think we're gonna change that because it doesn't match anybody else in the family and he's not genetically and um, rela biologically related to Claire, so it doesn't even make sense. So, although I wish we didn't have to change it, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Which skin tone does he have? Yeah. He has a custom um, skin tone, so that's probably why it's different. But I think we're just gonna match him up to Isaac, um, since it's his father. Uh, oh my goodness, he inherited Isaac's um, freckles, which are so cute. Okay, so he has a third one in that row. So we're gonna do the same for little Isaac here. Uh, this one, right? Yeah, oh my goodness, his eyes are so cute, aren't they? All right, well, I don't think we even need to like really change him much. Uh, I wanna keep his long hair. For sure. Um, I wonder if there's one like this though, no. I'm sorry, but this hair is so cute on him and I love it, okay. Uh, let's see, should we do a skin overlay? Probably. Um, what is this one that he has? Okay, they're just freckles. So let's have a look. He definitely needs little eyelashes because they already add so much to him. Um, I kind of feel like these ones or... Um, Oh, those are so cute too, and those. Hmm, I think we're gonna go with those just first ones. And then as for a skin overlay, I don't know if we even really need one. I think he looks super cute the way he is. Um, and I don't know if we can have those eyelashes paired with the overlay that I'd like, which would either be this one. Yeah, okay, I think maybe, oh wait, we could probably get like, um, makeup with those eyelashes I think 
Yeah, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, maybe we'll have to do some makeup eyelashes. So I'm thinking, no, we don't want like actual eyeliner. So I'm thinking just like these ones. All those ones. Okay, we'll go with those. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. He looks so cute. Th those lips, they're interesting. No, he doesn't really need anything like that. But oh my god, I'm obsessed with him. He's adorable. Okay, right. Let's just quickly sort out his little outfit. Um, let's see. Okay, so I gave him a quick little makeover and I'm gonna show you guys what I gave him. So his little, his outfit's all kind of like trendy. I don't know. I feel like this is the kind of thing that Mo would dress her son in, especially as like a social media influencer. So they're all kind of like little adult outfits in small. There are a few that are kind of a little bit more childish, but for the most part, I just thought that she would dress him like a little mini adult, if you get what I mean. Oh, my hay fever is so bad, honestly. Right, okay. Anyway, showing you his outfit. So the first one is just this little ko koala top with the shoes. I think it's so cute. It's very plain. Um, well, not plain, but like simple. Um, but I think it's still adorable. And then I gave him a few extra ones. So he has these adorable little dungarees with a little red top and matching red shoes. And then just a kind of casual um, hoodie and kind of trousers. Um, and then for formal wear, we have just a shirt and shorts. It's nothing exciting. Um, for pajamas, he has a few because they're just too cute. So we have this little onesie, and then this little cow print like onesie, and then this little fox onesie. And then for party wear, it's just a top and some jeans. Swimwear. This little <laughs> this little ensemble is adorable. Wait, hang on. We need to give him armbands for sure. And then. Hot weather, just kind of shorts and a top, and cold weather. How cute is that little sun hat? That's adorable. I can't, I cannot with this. Adorable. Um, but yeah, so that's him. Um, I also did give the twins like a little extra outfit, I think, um, like each. So yeah, you'll see them change into those at some point. Oh my goodness, my eyes are like so itchy. I have no idea. <laughs> Does anyone else have like hay fever? <laughs> my hay fever is absolutely awful and it's not good that I like to wear eyeliner like this because I just rub it off. I actually had like fox eye eyeliner on but I've already rubbed off the insides. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, right, let's have a look at him. Where is he? He's so cute already. I think we should change him into, um, change him into his little dungarees because they're just too cute. Okay, perfect. All right. So, what is broken? Because things are broken and it's annoying me. I think we fixed that in there, right? Okay, um, let's put away all of this food or clean up whatever we gotta do. Um, Cause we don't wanna waste it. And then Max, we're gonna go and get him to write a song cause we did say he was going to earlier but he never ended up doing so. Um, so we're gonna do a relaxed rhythm and he does have to write several songs. So yeah, he has to write three more. Um, so that will be fine. And I think I want to work on the fitness skills of these two. So I think we're going to go and dream big several times because that gets up the fitness skill really quickly. So we'll just max that out. Um, and oh yeah, look, <laughs> Nani's over. And look at her hair. I'm obsessed. I think she's such a cool looking sim. Anyways, um, let's see. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should take Aspen to the library to get her research and debate skill up or we could buy a research computer if we can. I think we might be able to. If we can't we'll have to go to the library but if we can buy one ourselves then that would be great. Okay so we can buy a research machine but it's 12,000 simoleons and I don't know if I can justify that to be honest with you. So I think we're gonna go to the library and um, get one from there. Okay, I went and took a hay fever tablet. I feel like there's been so many interruptions in this video, it's unreal. So yeah, we're gonna just go to the library. Um, it's 4 p.m. so I think that's enough time, right? Oh wait, no. Okay, first of all, we're gonna do his little room because I feel like that's kind of, kind of essential for the poor little guy. <laughs> I was kind of like annoyed that we had to have it on the second, uh, on the first floor, sorry. But now I'm thinking about it, that's better because he's a toddler. Um, so I think we're gonna use the tiny traveler stuff. Um, 
Right. I remember when I used to hear like people say tiny twabblers and it really annoyed me because I didn't cut tiny twabblers. Yeah, it really annoyed me because I didn't know that was actually what it was called. I thought they were just saying travelers wrong and then I felt like an idiot when I found out. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna do like a very um, nature themed room, like a woodland theme, I think. So we're gonna sell this. We only get 150 from it, but that's fine. And let's have a look what we can do. I think we're gonna get rid of that as well so we just have a completely clean slate. Um, okay, we have to decide between either this bed or this bed. I feel like it's gotta be this one, right? Like, if we're gonna go nature themed, we're gonna go all out, am I right? <laughs> oh my goodness, it should be like a kind of like adventure theme. That would be so cute, okay. Um, I think we're gonna put this above his bed, yeah. And then pop his little bed there. Or do we put it sideways? Okay, I think we're gonna do that. And then, hmm, what else? Okay, I kind of moved around the bathroom a bit. I know it's a little smaller now. I don't know if it's just me or is that kid's room? I don't know whether to keep this this size, but the kid's room seems so big and like such an odd shape and I don't really know how to make it a more reasonable size. So, hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna move that toilet back to the smaller size because we don't really need a massive bathroom. Like if it fits everything in it, it fits everything in it, right? Um, and then we are going to get rid of this toilet because no one seems to use it. Um, so yeah, we'll get rid of this and then sort this out a little bit maybe? Uh, yeah, okay, this is working. This is... Oh wait, oh my goodness, no, it's gotten rid of the fireplace. It's fine, we'll put that back in just a second. Um, but I'm thinking we make it a little bit smaller this way. Oh my goodness, wait, I just found a scholarship result letter in... Okay, that's weird. Uh, but okay. Um, I also have a cupboard in here, so I don't know if we can fit this in here somewhere. Um, obviously we can't really put it there. Maybe we could like, hmm. I kind of do want this in here actually. So maybe we, maybe we do like a little, a little bump out this side. Get rid of this window. Okay, yeah, we'll put, we'll put a window over here and then um, make a little bump like outside. I know this is probably gonna mess up the roof majorly but <laughs> yeah maybe we can have like a little cupboard there because I feel like that kind of breaks up the room a bit. Please ignore the stuff in it, I just kind of got out things that I wanted to use. Okay so I'm done with his room, I definitely did go overboard, let's be honest. You can already probably see that I went overboard um, but when I was building this and I was getting like more and more into it I was kind of thinking that He's their last uh, child and then maybe he's just really spoiled because he's their last child. So that's kind of what I went for. I went for a very um, fun like adventure theme, I suppose, like a jungle kind of adventure theme and um, with the tiny travelers stuff. So I really love it. I do want to put some pillows and things down here, um, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll just quickly put up the wall so you can see. Um, this wall is a little bit plain, but I mean the rest of the walls definitely aren't, so yeah. I also popped down the Ravachine um, kids play kitchen here because I thought that he would definitely have toys that kind of like trailed out into the house. So yes, that is everything I've done. Um, and yeah, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take Aspen um, out. So let's see, uh, travel. We're gonna take her to the library in Brightchester, I think, and we might as well take Ella with us so she can do a little bit of research of unis and things like that too. Or she can just do her homework for school since they are both teens still. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see how red my eye has just gotten. Okay, right, so uh, let's go into, I always get mixed up with the world, um, Brightchester. As you can see, I'm kind of catching up with packs now. I don't have like barely any game pack stuff packs. Um, I don't think I have any stuff packs. I don't have any kits, so yeah. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and go to the library and use the research computer. Okay, here we are. So this library desperately needs a makeover. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're gonna get straight to it. I don't actually know what she's gonna 
major in. Um, so we might as well, okay, I'm just gonna close my eyes and whatever I land closest to, we're gonna do. Professional versus DIY handiwork. Okay, that's what we're gonna research. I guess it kind of makes sense because she's a perfectionist. So that kind of makes sense, I suppose. And I think we're gonna go ahead and, okay, right. Since we're at the library, we might as well do our homework. Um, and then after she has done that, we get that skill up a little bit. Um, we can do our homework as well, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Um, as long as she kind of like levels up maybe at least once, I'll be happy for today. Um, since she does have a long time to get that up. But if we can get that up before she even goes to university, she's got a more chance of, um, she's got more chance of getting a, what do you call it? Like a distinguished degree. So I think we're gonna just try and work to get that up. And then whatever she does decide to do at uni, um, again, I saw a comment um, down below that said, uh, we should just see what her next trait is gonna be and like figure out what she wants to do as a career after that. Um, so I definitely do want it to be something that is boosted by a degree since that's her aspiration. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just see how it goes, I suppose. But if any of you have an idea that you're like dying for me to play out, let me know because I am happy to do like whatever you guys think would go well for her and I'll play along with that. I really love it when you guys kind of help me with the story because it makes it more fun to do things that I wouldn't normally do on myself or do for my, on my own accord for my sims. Um, which is why I also love the random trait generator because you just don't get choice and it's great. I don't know why all the librarians in my game wear this veil. It's really annoying. I need to give literally so many townies a makeover. Oh, as I said earlier. Anyways, let's get her to get on with that. Um, why are you on the floor? What are you doing? <laughs> She's so random. She's so bored. Well, you're sitting out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that doesn't seem very boring to me. You're doing homework, but you're sitting in the middle of a random lot. You're not even on the library lot, are you? Where even are you? Strange, strange girl. That's all I can say. What's this on the floor? Oh, I thought that was something on the floor then. Um, right. Okay, how are you doing? You're almost leveled up in that skill. So let's just keep on going until we get a up a level. Ella's completed her homework, so good for you. I think we're gonna get you to do some extra credit work, actually, if you can. You're feeling kind of bored, so I think, have we come and play a game over here first, um, and then we can do your extra credit work, because I don't want you to, like, die of boredom. Um, oh, and you're sitting on the floor doing your homework. I, you confuse me. Okay, right, we didn't actually level up, so we're gonna do a little bit more after she's done her homework, but I am gonna let her do that, since it's kind of a priority. I, I recognise that lady from somewhere, but I think she's just a free made sim. See, like, what is this? these obsessions with these veils? She's a librarian too. Why? I don't, I don't know. I need to get rid of that veil because I never even use it and they all seem to wear it, so I'm confused. <laughs> Who's this dude? Aaron Finley. Okay, well, funny introduction to you. He's got an interesting look. He seems kind of like a like a punk rocker, which is kind of fun. Um, I wonder if there's any other teens here. You're a young adult. Um, we definitely need to get to know some teens. We should probably t put like a teen hangout lot or something, or get her to know some people um, from college. My CC keeps glitching out when I zoom out, so please do excuse that. But yeah, we need to... Not college. <laughs> it's on my mind. From high school. We need to get her to make some friends so that we can find her a man's. Um, so we can get them having babies as soon as possible, to be honest. I'm so nervous about having 10 kids in one generation. I know we're gonna have so many toddlers at some point, but I guess since we're already kind of, what is going on with her legs? I guess since we're kind of established already that it will be a little bit easier because we won't have to worry about the money. So I think that will hopefully make this uh, challenge a bit easier. And also we can get a nanny, can't we? So. That'll be fine. I don't know why her legs keep doing that. Okay, right, you're happy again now. Um, you're kind of getting tired, but your fun is all the way up, so we're just gonna get you to finish your homework. How's yours going? You're being mischievous, right? Stop doing that, get on with your work. I know you're sitting on the floor, which is kind of weird, but can you just finish it, please? Stop talking to everyone, you're almost done. So finish that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do some more professional verses. Um, 
whatever that was, DIY, handiwork. Um, just so we can get that skill up to level two because you were so, 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 so close. And we will have to do your, um... oh, curfew is about to start. Oh dear, right, okay, we need to hurry up. We've got 20 minutes to get that skill up and go home. I completely forgot we set that, right. Okay, I know, I know, I know. It's at 11 p.m., I'm pretty sure. But look how close our skill is. I know, you know, if we get in trouble, which we are going to now, it was worth it because we were at the library, okay? We were at the library. They're probably gonna shower her, but... Okay, right, we can go home now. We can go home. Let's get them to stop. Um, oh, yeah, let's get them to stop and just go home. We're only 15 minutes past our curfew and we were at the library getting up our research and debate skill and doing our homework. So I don't think they'd get in trouble for that. <laughs> All right, so I think that was pretty successful. I think we're actually just gonna get everyone to sort out their needs. Um, we'll see what we have in the fridge we have so many leftovers and I don't want to waste them. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna get, if uh, these, okay, these aren't spoiled. Let's just uh, call everyone to a meal of that then. How's the baby doing? Honestly, he's so cute, I'm obsessed. I feel like it's a, oh my God. I, I use it as a it's so cute. Okay, he's gonna go play with a toy, adorable. I feel like he's gonna be so spoiled because he's like the youngest in the family by like quite a long way, if you get me. I feel like he's gonna be super, super spoiled, which is adorable. <laughs> I actually can't with that kid, he's adorable. Okay, um, right, he's gonna go get some food. I think there's enough for everybody, or maybe there's not, okay. Um, no, don't eat cheese crackers. You can find better things than that in the fridge. Uh, let's see, open, and hmm, let's have a, grab a serving of whatever that was. <laughs> oh dear, Freddy's here. That's not gonna end well, is it? Um, Max, actually, how did you get on with your song? I completely forgot we got you to do that. Where's your guitar? What's this? Sheet music. Oh, that's for, okay, that's to resume that. Oh, he's eating human food, food so it tastes gross. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Um, you can drink a plasma pack then, and then um, you're feeling flirty again, so I guess resume? Oh, there's no guitar available? There you go. And yeah, okay, I think other than that, everyone is okay. I'm gonna have to wrap up this episode pretty soon. But honestly, I think it was quite productive. Yeah, we didn't do too much um, other than, well, I mean, we did, we aged up. I always say we didn't do too much, but we did. We aged up Luca and um, did the room, um, got started on her aspiration and had a nice little chit chat, don't you think? So yeah, I think we are gonna um, end this episode here because everyone is just gonna have to go to bed now. I need to harvest um, the, what am I doing? I need to harvest the garden in the morning, but that can wait um, for now. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think, honestly, Legacy is my favorite. You guys, please do. Don't be afraid to like help me develop their story in the comments. Like. If there is anything that you think could be a cool storyline, even if I haven't said it like explicitly or even implicitly, um, just let me know because I'm honestly happy to play out any storyline you guys suggest. Obviously at the moment there aren't too many of you guys so it's really easy to incorporate what you guys are saying. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to like let me know what your opinions are and like what you'd like me to do in the challenge. But yeah, other than that, I'd just like to say thank you guys ever so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed my content and want to see more of me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!